Jonah 2 7 when my soul fainted within me I remembered the Lord and my prayer came in unto thee into thine holy temple and that's uh, Jonah in the belly of the whale saying that and he's coming to himself in that and realizing his sin and he cries out unto God and those were some of my readings today and then I was reading over here in uh, Micah chapter 7 and uh, I just thought about anybody that might be uh, trodden down today and you can return back to the Lord because the enemy would rejoice you know Micah says here in uh, Micah 7 8 rejoice not against me O mine enemy when I fall I shall arise when I sit in darkness the Lord shall be a light unto me so if you're trodden down today don't let the enemy rejoice against you because you can be lifted up when I fall I shall arise when I sit in darkness the Lord shall be a light unto me and then I want you to see the conclusion here I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. You know, that's what the will of God for you is. Not for the enemy to rejoice over you, but then... This is what really got me here while I was reading all of this. In verse 10 of Micah 7. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. So don't let your enemy rejoice but when you get back up and you do what God wants you to then you bring shame to your enemies and as long as you're out of the will of God the enemy will rejoice but when you realize that you have the promises of God today then your enemies will be in shame because they will see it they will see that you're not trodden down